Hi everyone, in this video we'll explore whether the Flipper Zero or the M5 Stick C Plus 2 is the hottest hacking device out there. My name is Jasmine and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking or cloud pro fast. Today we're diving into two of the hottest gadgets making waves in the cyber community the Flipper Zero and the M5 Stick C Plus 2. These devices are turning heads with their standout features and capabilities. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what each one brings to the table and which could be your perfect match. Let's kick things off with the Flipper Zero. The Flipper Zero is a versatile and compact device designed for hardware exploration and development on the go. Inspired by the PWNA Gachi project, it combines various hardware tools into one device, ensuring convenience and robustness. Flipper Zero is encased in a sturdy shell with handy buttons, making it suitable for everyday use. It turns your projects into an engaging experience, reminding you that development should always be fun. This tiny piece of hardware with the personality of a curious cyber dolphin can interact with digital systems, explore access control systems, RFID, radio protocols, and debug hardware using GPIO pins. Flipper Zero is completely autonomous and can be controlled with a five-button directional pad without additional devices, such as computers or smartphones. Main features are available from the main menu. For more control, you can connect to Flipper Zero via USB and Bluetooth. Let's explore about its sub-1 GHz transceiver. Flipper Zero is equipped with a CC1101 radio chipset, making it a powerful transceiver within the sub-1 GHz range. This range is essential for various wireless devices and access control systems, such as garage door remotes, IoT sensors, and remote keyless systems the integrated multi-band antenna, and the CC1101 chip enable Flipper Zero to support digital modulations like 2FSK, 4FSK, GFSK, MSK, OOK, and flexible ASK shaping. This functionality allows users to perform digital communication with IoT devices and access control systems, expanding its capabilities further by installing additional apps. With the ability to support different modulation techniques, users can tailor their communication protocols to meet specific needs, making the Flipper Zero a highly customizable radio platform. The device can also read data from various devices, including weather stations, adding to its versatility. Flipper Zero features a 125 kHz RFID module, which can read and emulate low-frequency proximity cards. These cards, widely used in older access control systems, are relatively simple, storing only an ID without any authentication mechanism. This allows the Flipper Zero to read, clone, and emulate them easily. The antenna for this module is located at the bottom of the device, and users can even share card IDs remotely with other Flipper Zero users, enhancing its collaborative potential. This type of card is widely used in old access control systems around the world. It's pretty dumb, stores only an N-byte ID, and has no authentication mechanism, allowing it to be read, cloned, and emulated by anyone. Moreover, you can emulate cards by entering their IDs manually. This feature makes the Flipper Zero a powerful tool for exploring and manipulating legacy access control systems. In addition to the low-frequency RFID capabilities, Flipper Zero also includes a high-frequency NFC module operating at 13.56 MHz. This module supports major standards and works similarly to the 125 kHz module, enabling interaction with NFC-enabled devices. Users can read, write, and emulate high-frequency tags, making Flipper Zero an ultimate RFID device capable of operating in both low-frequency and high-frequency ranges. The NFC module supports all the major standards and works pretty much the same as the 125 kHz module, allowing you to interact with NFC-enabled devices, read, write, and emulate HF tags. Flipper Zero supports Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE, allowing it to act as a peripheral device and connect to third-party devices and smartphones. 
The mobile apps designed for iOS and Android enable users to update their Flipper Zero via BLE, remotely control the device, share keys, and manage data on a larger screen, enhancing the user experience. Full Bluetooth Low Energy BLE support allows Flipper Zero to act as a peripheral device, allowing you to connect your Flipper Zero to third-party devices and smartphones. This feature significantly extends the functionality of the Flipper Zero, allowing for remote control and data management. This integration with mobile platforms ensures that users can easily manage and control their Flipper Zero, making it a highly convenient tool for various applications. The infrared transceiver in Flipper Zero can transmit signals to control various electronics. It includes a built-in library of signals for common brands, which is constantly updated by the community. The device also features an infrared receiver that can learn and store signals from existing remotes, allowing users to transmit commands later and share them with the Flipper Zero community. The infrared transmitter can transmit signals to control electronics such as TVs, air conditioners, AC, stereo systems, and others. This library is constantly updated by the Flipper Zero community by adding new signals to the IR remote database. Flipper Zero also has an IR receiver that can receive signals and save them to the library, so you can store any of your existing remotes to transmit commands later and add them to the public IR remote database to share with other Flipper Zero users. This feature adds a layer of versatility to the Flipper Zero, allowing it to control a wide range of household electronics and share infrared signals with other users. Flipper Zero supports external storage through a microSD card slot, accommodating FAT12, FAT16, FAT32, and XFAT formatted cards. The push-push type connector ensures the card is securely held inside without sticking out. This storage is used for remote codes, signal databases, dictionaries, image assets, logs, and more, providing ample space for all necessary data. As a versatile tool for hardware exploration, Flipper Zero can be connected to any piece of hardware using GPIO pins. It allows users to control devices with buttons, run custom code, and print debug messages to the LCD. The device also functions as a regular USB to UART, SPI, or I2C adapter, enabling communication with any hardware from a desktop application. Additional features include SPI Flash Programmer, AVR ISP Programmer, OpenDAP, and a fuzzing tool for testing protocols and signals. Flipper Zero includes a built-in one-wire connector to read iButton contact keys, a technology still widely used globally. The device can read these keys, store IDs in memory, write IDs to blank keys, and emulate the key itself. The unique iButton contact pad design allows it to function both as a reader and a probe to connect to iButton sockets. This feature makes the Flipper Zero a valuable tool for interacting with iButton systems, providing users with the ability to read, clone, and emulate these keys. Now let's walk through tech specs of Flipper Zero. Flipper Zero is powered by an STM32WB55RG microcontroller featuring an ARM Cortex M4 32-bit, 64 MHz application processor, and an ARM Cortex M0 Plus 32-bit, 32 MHz radio processor. It supports Bluetooth LE 5.4, 802.15.4, and proprietary radio frequencies with 1024 KB flash memory and 256 KB SRAM shared between the application and radio. The monochrome LCD has a resolution of 128 multiplied by 64 pixels, and the device includes a CC1101 transceiver for sub-1 GHz communication. The battery is a LiPo 2100 mAh, providing up to 28 days of battery life. The body dimensions are 100 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 25 mm, and it weighs 102 grams. Flipper Zero supports various protocols and frequencies, making it a highly capable and versatile tool for hardware exploration and development. M5 Stick C Plus 2 – Compact and Versatile the M5 Stick C Plus 2 is an advanced iteration of the M5 Stick C Plus, featuring the powerful ESP32 Pico V302 chip 
with built-in Wi-Fi. This compact device is packed with hardware resources, including infrared, RTC, microphone, LED, IMU, buttons, buzzer, and more. Despite its small size, it features a 1.14-inch TFT screen with a resolution of 135 by 240, powered by the ST7789V2, and includes a 200 mAh battery. M5 Stick C Plus 2 is designed for rapid prototyping of IoT products, making the development process seamless even for beginners. It supports multiple development platforms, including UI Flow, MicroPython, Arduino, and .NET Nano Framework. Powering on the device requires pressing and holding button C for more than two seconds or triggering the IRQ signal by the RTC. The hold GPIO4 pin needs to be set to a high level during program initialization to maintain the power supply. To power off, you can press and hold button C for more than six seconds or set hold GPIO4 to zero during program operation. When connected to USB, holding button C for more than six seconds will turn off the screen and enter hibernation mode. This power management system ensures that the M5 Stick C Plus 2 is easy to operate and manage, providing users with a reliable and efficient tool for their projects. The M5 Stick C Plus 2 features the ESP32 Pico V3 Zero 02 chip, providing robust Wi-Fi connectivity. It includes a built-in 6-axis IMU for motion detection and control, an IR transmitter for controlling electronics, a microphone for audio input, and an RTC for timekeeping. The device also includes buttons and a 1.14-inch TFT LCD with a resolution of 135 by 240, a 200 mm lithium polymer battery, an extendable socket for additional modules, a buzzer for audio output, and options for wearable and wall-mounted use. These features make the M5 Stick C Plus 2 a highly versatile and powerful tool for various applications, providing users with a compact and feature-rich device for their projects. M5 Stick C Plus 2 is compatible with various development platforms, making it accessible for developers of all skill levels. UI Flow and UI Flow 2.0 provide graphical programming interfaces, while Arduino IDE offers more traditional coding options. This compatibility ensures that users can easily integrate the M5 Stick C Plus 2 into their existing workflows and projects, making it a highly flexible tool for IoT development and prototyping. Now let's compare the Flipper Zero and the M5 Stick C Plus 2 to see which device has the upper hand. In summary, both Flipper Zero and M5 Stick C Plus 2 are impressive devices with unique strengths. Flipper Zero stands out for its extensive capabilities in hardware exploration and hacking, with features like the Sub 1 GHz transceiver, RFID, NFC, Bluetooth, infrared transceiver, and comprehensive technical specifications. It is designed for users who need a robust tool for interacting with various digital systems and performing advanced hacking tasks. On the other hand, M5 Stick C Plus 2 is a versatile and compact development tool geared towards rapid IoT prototyping. It integrates a wealth of hardware resources within a small form factor, supporting multiple development platforms and offering ease of use for both beginners and experienced developers. Its focus on IoT development makes it an excellent choice for creating and testing new applications quickly. Ultimately, the choice between Flipper Zero and M5 Stick C Plus 2 depends on your specific needs. If you require a powerful device for hardware hacking and exploring access control systems, Flipper Zero is the clear winner. However, if you're looking for a flexible and compact device for IoT development, M5 Stick C Plus 2 is an excellent choice. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Let us know in the comments which device you prefer and why. Until next time, happy hacking! Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.